This next fabulous technique is shielding hammer. Not a whole lot of exciting things are inside to this technique, but it's fun. Um, there's a lot you can do with it. Base move, we're just going to run through this for a punt. One, two, three. All there is two with the cross out, of course. So, um, I've seen it written with this hand up here, but pretty much everyone that I know uses that as an eye shot, so I'm just going to assume that's how that goes. I'm going to step back. We're going to make sure to block. In this case, you want to make sure to block um, below the elbow. Um, stepping back to the nice outward, extended outward block, dropping your weight, hand up ready to go for a check just in case because we got this hand right there and we don't know what's going to happen with it. So just in case, we want to block our face because we don't know what's going to happen next. So we, and we might need to use something else. From here we're going to reach contour down, reach out, break at the last minute. We, wanna, we don't want to go here oh, this way and use just a straight shot. We want to get some torque and whip that one out there, just take a chunk of his face out. Uh, the question is, what's the target there? Well, it depends. Do you want to kill him? Do you want to maim him? Do you want to just annoy him? Does he have friends? Are police watching? Does anyone have a video camera? All those important things. Um, so it can be anywhere, temple, cheek, lower, ear, nose. Anything on this side of his body is fine to just smack. just depends what you want to do. And again, you want to make sure that you're doing that. As we step back and he comes back, boom, you could push drag as needed. Sometimes a person might have gargantuanly long arms, in which case then you're going to need to push drag to reach your target. Because again, you can move the target, you can move the weapon, or you can move both. So if you're, in, if you're back here and you, you went back too far and you went, whoa, okay, I gauged that all wrong. You can launch off the back foot, come through, take his face off. As this comes down, chances are he's going to start moving in a downward direction. So from there, you're going to push forward, elbow right, nice pinpointed spot, boom, right in the middle. And as he's falling, we're going to make sure that he falls into this four-fingered eye shot. When you do the four-fingered eye shot, make sure that you keep your fingers bent ever so slightly. Some people I see in finger set and other things, they have their fingers straight like this. What that's going to do is break your fingers. Four-finger eye shot, they should be bent because if you hit something hard, you want to have a little bit of give. If you go straight in, I mean, unless you just have made your fingers, unless they're all joint locked into cement, even then you don't want to break them. So here, you want to give yourself a little bit of room. Or if you go for the eyes and you hit something, there's room for your fingers to spread and go in different directions rather than just crunch. So give a little space between them, leave them bent a little bit as you push drag in and strike. Okay, so um, shielding hammer, ladies and gentlemen. 